and welcome back to The Watchman from Washington, D.C. NFL football players are very tough guys, but take them on a tour of the Holy Land and you'll see an entirely different side of these Iron Men. Kufi's Israel Collective did just that recently, taking a group of current and former NFL players to Israel, where they were able to get in touch with the roots of their faith, walk where Jesus walked, and have a life-changing experience. Take a look. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ walked through these, these lands and he was seeing the same sky and, and walking the same terrain as, as I have uh, to be at the gates of the Temple Mount and understanding that he had to walk through the gate there. Uh, that has been an experience for me that has really, really, really deepened my faith and my understanding. Getting the chance to go and, and be baptized in the Jordan River, like I sent that picture like straight to my mom, like, mom, you gotta see this. So, you know, my, my mom was there when I was baptized as a kid. Uh, and to be able to send her that and, and show her that and, and remember listening to my granddaddy singing about the Jordan River, you know, all these songs and these places that get talked about in, in church uh, and to, to be at a place like that where you know, you've heard, you've sung about it and to be in it and actually get baptized there was, was phenomenal. I'm on the phone with my wife and my daughter and I'm just sharing everything that I've experienced because it's fresh in your mind and I don't want to lose that. You know, I, I, when I go back next week or somebody asks me next month, I want it to come out just like I was there yesterday. With all the things that uh, we've packed in with Israel Collective over these uh, last couple of days, it's just been amazing. Something that I wasn't prepared for was the overwhelming sense of uh, family. Like that is just, I've heard it before, but it's something that you feel, it's tangible. The community here was, in, it's insane. I've never seen something to this extent where you walk down the street and you know that there's people who love the person you're looking at. I feel like I've been able to enjoy, appreciate, and watch the Jewish culture a little more instead of just sight, sight visit, sight visit. Just see the people uh, and really big picture, 30,000 foot view, how much they have gone through for sure, but really chosen joy through this is just kind of says a lot about them as a culture. The Bible says what the enemy meant for bad, God would turn around for good. And the Jewish people going through such a horrific uh, time uh, in their, in their uh, history uh, and now, you know, coming on the back end, uh, they're so much stronger because of it. What I'm gonna be taking home back to my uh, family and friends is that when I was in the Jewish home uh, in here in Jerusalem during Shabbat, it was an amazing experience to see how they came together with the traditions and the rich, uh, richness of family and love for one another and being able to rest and let go of the week that came before them. Uh, I believe that the Sabbath is incredibly important for my personal walk and uh, uh, to see that in an example like that was a great, great testimony for, the, for them and from their family. I don't remember any point in this trip that people looked at us like they're outsiders, like what are they doing here? It, it was so inclusive. People will look at you and it's almost like they're looking in your soul. It's just like, you know, I love you for you, brother. Like, how are you? Like, let's take a picture. Like, you know, and that's before they even know we're athletes. Anytime you can kind of go back to the source of something and actually see it and touch it and feel it and actually know that this existed in this place, uh, it just strengthens your faith. I've been baptized once before, but to renew my vows, to re renew my faith with my brothers that I played with in the NFL has been a tremendous privilege to walk with them, to be a part of their lives too, and now we can have that brotherhood even closer and that bond even closer than we had before. Wow, what an inspiring story to see those NFL players in the Holy Land, getting a chance to experience it for themselves firsthand. Well, up next, my final thoughts on the threats gathering on Israel's borders and how Israel, against all odds, continues to persevere. It's the Watchmen, it's Christians United for Israel, only right here on TBN of Washington, D.C. Stick around.